This week's a lot better. Um, defense had a good week. Offense was considerably better, uh, leaps and bounds better, actually. So um, we tell the guys all the time they don't all of a sudden show up on Saturday and play well. They gotta, they gotta earn that. And how you practice, how you're gonna play, and I'll feel a lot better about things if we play the way we practice this week. With um, the first road trip, non-conference, do you take about 74 or are you going to take substantially more than that? How do you balance that? I think we're going to take 80, maybe 81. Um, you know, we're not under restriction, but um, we also don't want to take the whole roster. So I think it's going to be 80 or 81, and that will give us a couple other guys for depth at a couple positions. Do you have an emergency kicker? Yeah, we actually had some of those kicks today to see how else can do it. Uh, and we got a decision to make. Uh, Isaac Armstrong can kick and does a good job. Um, Lane McCallum, uh, who's a walk-on DB for us, transferred in from Air Force, kicked at Air Force. So um, both those guys got some reps today. But if, if Barrett can't go with Dylan, Dylan's the first option after that, or would it be? We'll see. we got to make a decision. Is there anything that stands out when you look at their first game under Mel Tucker as far as how they've maybe changed things as opposed to the team you saw a year ago in Lincoln? Uh, you know, it's a lot of the same guys, and we're familiar with those guys, for most of them from being here last year. Um, you know, I, I was impressed with how well coordinated and organized they were for being a, a first game under a new coach. Um, you know, watching their, their defense, they have quite a few veterans. Uh, offensively, it helps when you have a senior quarterback when you're coming in as a new coach. But you can tell they've done a good job. And you know, all their track records as coaches uh, would suggest that uh, they're going to get the guys up and going quick. Scott Eli Swoban showed up with player two on defense on Saturday. Was he a guy that had big fall camp, or was he somebody that he knew going into fall camp? Who's that? I didn't Eli Sullivan. Oh, right Eli. Oh, yeah. Eli's doing a great job. Um, I think you're starting to see the walk-on program that we have here starting to help us. And Eli's a great example. He's just battled and battled and improved and improved. Um, and when he got his chance, he came in and made plays. He was hungry, and he came and did a great job. So uh, he's the guy we feel good about if he's pressed into service. When you look at a team that's ready to go on, on the road, what is that team like? I just want focused. Um, I think, think we've practiced that way all week. So I, I think our team's excited to play. They understand how big a test this is. This is a tough place to play. It has been uh, for a long time. Um, I've played there and coached there and understand the challenges. So um, I think these guys are ready and they're anxious to play. Given the way the second half especially unfolded with the number of plays you had, are you excited to try to get the ball to some of the guys that maybe you didn't see it a whole lot? Yeah, it's just, you know, one of the reasons practice has been better is we had everybody up in full speed this week. Um, you know, Cam Jurgens is gets healthier every week. Colin of Inoa was uh, practicing full all week. Uh, you know, Maurice Washington being in the fold is going to help, and he practiced full uh, this week. JD practiced full. So uh, a lot of the guys that had missed reps got a bunch more this week, and, and rep repetition matters. There's obviously been a lot of attention on, on Cam this week. What, what do you like about him since you got to know him since he joined the program? Just his mental, the mental side of him and kind of handling. Which Cam? Uh, Cam Jurgens, just being able to handle, you know, maybe not his best day and moving forward from. Cam actually played well. I thought he blocked pretty well. Um, we just had, you know, those snaps in the game, um, you know, one, one killed the drive for sure when we snap it over a quarterback's head, but. When we were asking a quarterback to catch a ball and read something or read coverage um, or make a read in the run game, uh, and, and he's looking up and jumping to catch a ball and not even on the ground, it, it disrupts a lot of things for us. Uh, it's been a lot better this week. Uh, we still got to see it in a game. But I got a ton of faith in Cam Jurgens. He's, he's not only a, a great athlete, uh, he's got a little nasty in him. Uh, he's a Nebraska kid that is as tough as most of the guys on the team, and um, he plays that way. So I'm excited about him going forward. Scott, we've heard a lot about this revenge tour. How do the guys balance maybe uh, the high expectations that they know you, are on them with you know, knowing that they went 4-8 and eight last year and this is their chance to kind of? I've never heard revenge tour, so that's not something we use. Um, that's not our way of thinking. Our way of thinking is play the best we can in practice today and in the game Saturday. Um, 
you know, plus that's already been used by somebody in our league, and I'm not going to jump on board with anything that comes from up north. Um, so it's not about that for us. Um, and it's not about what happened last year. It's not about a lot of the things that fans are making it into. It's about us going out, being focused, and playing well, and uh, seeing if we can come out with a win. How's Adrian been this week? Adrian's been good. He's been practicing hard. Um, Again, he, he just needs to play like he's been practicing all week, and I think we'll see the same Adrian that we all expect.